I need my food for walk up and down. I need my hand. Mm. Probably my left hand. Your whole hand? Or one to a finger? <laughs> you know what I say? You know what I say? You know what I say? I'm more smart. I think I'm worse than me, but that thing, but that thing, but 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 it's so 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 minimal. I was thinking, he was like talking something major, you know, because the major something major would have a more effect than a little finger, a little. I feel like I that you asked me. No man, that's fine. But I'll take it back. My little pinky toe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My and outside of music is somebody that tries to cook, attempts to cook on a daily basis and that is a struggle for me but I'm working on it. Um, writing music, that is a priority. Um, yeah, I watch movies, movies like action shows, scary movies, love mu movies, things like that. Um, that's basically it. I'm not all the way out that extremely fun person so that is what i do outside of music okay, so you say you're a homebody yeah i'm gonna really i'm gonna really go out like that i think one misconception that i hate that people have of me is that i'm like a instagram model or somebody that is all about fashion and them thing there and like them feel for take my music seriously because i probably like put myself together like anybody else or just try to wear makeup for look pretty like anybody else so them really like take that and like feel like i just that my all about so that is what i'm trying to like transition into more music than just like fashion and stuff like that so i want everybody to get it straight i'm an artist first than a fashion person or an ig model i'm not even an ig model so i just want everybody to clear that up i'm a hidden talent um i can open a, um a bottle with my toes no hand movement no nothing yeah yeah i can do that I can do that and I can I can tie a string with my tongue. I can do that. <laughs> I think everybody just say the word unity just because them probably in an interview and them on the spot so they want to look good so them just really just say it because of saying sake nobody don't really like say it with meaning or say it with have an intent behind it for attempt for try for, for put unity in the music um when i said that though it wasn't like throwing what on anybody or me i thought oh this a person or that i was just making a, a statement based on what i was see, seeing going on on the internet and i feel like if the industry had more unity oh my god dancer would be so much more powerful but everybody just want to keep them them thing to themselves and probably like to boost them own ego so it's like it's nothing right now so when me when me said that it wasn't not true or word, nothing. It was just a statement. Dance all need more unity. More unity. Um, what I want for. Think about this first. <laughs> ah, you, you can't have one where you read people's minds say they never lie to you. Before. They can never lie to you. You have one where you can be invisible so you can go anywhere and see anything. Lie. Yeah, I mean, can't take you can be bulletproof. I don't want to be invisible. I mean, not, nothing beats that. Why? Um, if me invisible, oh, you're going to catch me. Oh, you're going to see me. So I can't hear what you say. I can't do around. You don't know. Send me around. If you want to kill me, I just disappear and i eat that so more oh, oh, invisible. more invisible and you're yeah, that that's that's what i was going to say invisibility yeah um honestly from the stop 
go um college and that was in 2019 2019 yeah i stopped go, go to college and i decided that this is what i wanted to do so from 2019 i decided but now i'm really like, extremely extremely serious serious about it yeah how were you studying in college i was studying logistics okay. yeah shipping oh. and all of that how did your parents take the role you wanted to be an artist because you find that entertaining parents are normally like when them kids go well i guess i was one of the lucky ones because my mom and my dad was extremely supportive because they knew that from a tender age i w- always wanted to be something great something not in a classroom or not working for the government or anything like that they saw something in me and I think that when I told them, when I finally came up with the decision of like becoming an artist, they knew that that was a path that I was destined to go down. You understand? Yeah. So they was like really, really, really supportive. Even now they are still supportive. One hundred and fifty percent. Your father never say, "Yeah, yeah, for watch them boy, yeah, rolling." No man, my father I'm supportive, like crazy, crazy supportive, crazy, crazy supportive. Oh my God, I I was nervous, I was excited, I felt like I had a purpose, I felt like I did something great. Um, I was was home and my manager called me and said, go go to a radio, go to a car, something, just go near a radio and go tune in. So my my mom and I was home and we jumped in our vehicle. And we turn on the radio and we did and listen, listen, listen. And I had my phone waiting to, to record when my song was go- was about to play. And when it finally played, my mom hugged me. And I was just crying because I just felt like, wow, I did something. I'm being recognized. So it was it was a really, really great feeling. Um, I wouldn't say I was always a star, but people always know me for like singing all the time and stuff like that. Um, as far as friends rise, um, there was change in the friendship. Um, some wasn't as supportive as I thought they would be and some were supportive. So just that some changed, some didn't. All right, all right. <clears throat> um, my biggest challenge is um, getting the recognition that I think I deserve um, and people taking me as seriously as I want them to take me because I'm really, really, really extremely serious about it. I can't pinpoint why I'm not getting the recognition. It's just it's just not being presented. Um, um, change, I'm putting in certain things into play to change that, to have them take me more seriously. But that is just the main problem that I have. Because I write music, I'm doing everything that I think I need to be doing. So I just want to be able to maneuver through that problem and just try to fix it. Patch up the dent them and just have people take me more seriously. Definitely, definitely, 100%. 100%. Because for the men, it is like extremely easier. A man can bust tomorrow morning in no time. But for a woman, you have to watch where you sing. You have to watch the topic them. Where you sing, so you sing about every minute. Um, you have to watch how you dress. You have to watch how you act. So it's like, as you slip, you slide. So you have to really depend your P's and Q's with the audience as a woman. But as a man, you can sing anything, do anything, and it, it work. And them just go through the gate just like that. So that's the problem that I have at this moment. But it's going to be fixed soon.
um I know what I signed up for and I'm in an industry where people have their opinions. People talk a lot of things. Um if I'm putting myself in the spotlight, I have to can deal with what it comes with. And that comes with people saying this and saying that because not everybody's going to like what you put out there. You're not going to have everybody liking this or liking that. So I have to like have a tough skin and just take it. I'm not going to go back and forth with people on the internet because I know that at the end of the day, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. So I don't take it to heart. I don't try to be sad about it. It's like, a, is it what it is? type of thing for me. Um it depends cuz I can't I can't sit here and say that oh I just go in and just get upset and say all right at this them I deal with me I go fix it and ray and ray cuz certain things can really break you and Sometimes certain things that people say about you will have you looking back and reflecting on what you're really doing. So it depends on what it is, but I'm the type of person that when I realize that I've made an error, I look into myself, see what I did wrong and try to make it better. Um, definitely independent, yeah, that's, um, one of my most popular songs, yeah. Um, Brock Pocket Man, that's with TJ. And, uh, the third one, Anna My Style, because that song is crazy popular. They really love that song. So, those three, I would recommend. Those three? Yeah. Um, I would tell myself that everything you want is out of your comfort zone and you can't be comfortable if you want more in life and to always have a plan B. I would say always have a plan B and 2020 taught me that. First thing that happened to me nothing really awful hasn't happened to me i would be lying if i if i came up with something that that is awful um the worst i would say is just like probably the negativity the constant negativity as you go online at, at this and people have said that about me and it's like it just like something just a poke me poke me poke me poke me poke me every minute so i me can't get rid of it i me can't stop it so i really that i don't really have this big problem with music honestly um because it's something that i really love so regardless of all the challenges i love it so i'm gonna really watch all of the bad part and we come with i'm just focused on the positives as for the best thing that happened to me in music, um, I would say just being able to express myself through writing, through singing, what, and that is something that I love to do. And I can have like people connect with me more. I can sing topics that are relatable, make people feel happy, put them in a mood, all of that. I can touch people through my music. Yeah. So that is like, the best thing. But you don't have a specific moment like, like their stage show? When everybody is singing a song and you're like, yo, everybody is singing a song, everybody know me, or you know, one of them, or somebody from for Drake hit in a DM and say, yo, me, you're singing in your body, yeah, you don't have a specific moment like that so far in your career? Yeah, I definitely have, well, not a Drake, but <laughs> but I definitely, the last show I did before Corona became a big thing, the last show was an amazing, let me say amazing, like, but it feel like oh my god my music really i got places um it was like a standing ovation like 
people they show my name, they sing my song line for line. At one point, me give one of the per, one of the one of the um, girl in, in the crowd the mic, and she does a sing line for line. I mean, I say, whoa! It just it just feel like you yeah, do something with meaning. So yeah, that was that was my best experience. The last performance before Corona hit big. I would, say, I would say the hardest thing is people feeling like they are obligated to have a say in whatever you do and can like talk about you like them know you, like you and them did play PE at school and all them something there. So and then you can't even really like defend yourself 100% because you never will win. Because it's so much people having so many opinions, saying this, saying that, putting out false narratives about you, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, I would say that. Um, what school did you go to, for those who might want to know? High school? I went to Irwin High. That's in Montego Bay. Bay. Yeah. Mm. So... Um, my song, Backseat, um, you know that song, right? So I, I got a DM, I got a DM of this girl. She sent me a video of her doing the do in the car with whoever was, I don't know who far man or who, but she did do something in there. Yeah, so she sent me a, a snippet, not a whole video, you know, like a snippet. Of she playing the song in the background and I do the do to the song in the back seat. So I think that was the craziest. I could have seen some little things, but I never know say they would have take it so hard till them actually I do everything what I say in the song. So that was just crazy. I'm like, whoa, all right. <laughs> First off. I don't like the whole DM in, sliding in DM thing. That is a big turn off for me. I'd prefer to be out somewhere and you try to talk to me. And then I get to scan you out before you even try to have a conversation. I scan you out in my head, look in your mouth, look how you look, all that look something there for know if we can have a conversation. So those approaches are the best ones for me instead of sliding in DM. Can everybody a catfish over Instagram? So I'm not really believing that one day, but seeing me out and try to approach me, that's it for me. Okay. Um, definitely Rihanna, cause I mean, she represents what I'm trying to aim for. Um, Rihanna. Um, what I love to do a song with Barry Salmon. I love Barry. And I would want to do a song with. What will be my third? I would love to do a song with. I would love to do a song with Sean Paul because he's he's done a lot for the culture, a lot, a lot, lot for the culture. So I'd want to do a song with Sean. I speak it into existence. Sean, if you see this, hit me up. <laughs> That happen all the time. As an artist, you just know where you stand with the person they're trying to put you against. I know that it's total foolishness. I mean, that happen over and over and over and over and over again. I don't like it, but it's happening. So I just know where I stand with the person, whoever that person would be. I know where I stand, and that's that. I mean, nobody can put me in a beef that me never go in a. You understand? So, yeah. It's not even the blogger them can. No, if you just 
get up one day and just say, all right, Mayan hate this person. And me know in myself, say, I don't hate you. Then me just go automatically hate you just like that? No. So it's stupid, but it happens. It happens. I mean, nobody not perfect. And I would never try to portray on Instagram or any other platform that I'm perfect. Um, so if you catch me in a one position that may not look suitable in at the moment, then that's on you. Because, as I said, nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not going to portray an image like I'm perfect. So it is what it is. Nobody's perfect. If you go screenshot and set the angle where you want to set it from a look away, then that's that's on you. Yeah. To you. Ah, Jesus, why can't you put me in another position? I suppose them see this later. <laughs> <laughs> what make you want to set me up? I <laughs> no supposed to forget that color from one of them later and them cities. They're not going to do a song with me. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> listen, listen, listen to me, Wes. And you're not going to set me up. You're not going to set me up. <laughs> I'm a prefer be a demon, girl. Straight up, I prefer to be a demon girl. Why? So why me for be a yamid? So, but no love, love no cat. No. <laughs> no love. But we, but we, um, scrape the car, bust the window, all of that, pick the lock, everything. You search phone? What? Put it down now. Put it down and see. <laughs> Make a mistake and put it down. Them said no trouble when I trouble you, but if you put down and I look for me, I look for him, me I go look. Oh, I have a lot, but. I love curry chicken, spicy, spicy, spicy curry chicken and white rice. I love the easiest thing when me can cook when me love, and this is my choice, is shrimp. The one I pre cook already. Yeah. Yeah. Coconut shrimp. I love that. I'm a love ackee and selfish. My favorite childhood memory is um, the last fun day I had, high school days. So the last fun day I had, my mom did my hair, didn't put in my hair and get my nails done and all of that, get my clothes and everything. And that was the first time I was putting on nails. You know, I'm very excited. I'm hype and everything. Cause girl nails stay so. Them not stay so now, but <laughs> girls nail, girl nail up and dear things. So yeah, that was the that was the best moment. And then it was the last fun day. It was the last time my friends and I were going to like be together and enjoying each other's company till everybody got them separate ways. So that was the best. That was the best childhood moment for me. I would want people to have in their head that I was a humble person and I went for anything that I felt like I needed as a go-getter all of that um when I look back from music and say yo Maya did really was a spokesperson for the girl them you know she really got all out for them she really covered topics that is real, is reality, all of that. So, but just want them to look back for me and, and know I say me is a girl where very progressive. Me try, me push hard for my music. I want them to look back for my music as me say and love it and know I say all of my display night was for them. Things where they happening in a real life. Talk about things where relatable, all of that. So, I mean, it, it, uh, humility 
is different in different aspects. You have different type of humility. You understand? So, if you just, oh my God, put it now. You, you can know when a person bossy and hype and show off because of what they have. And that person is not called humble. Because them bossy, them flash, them flash up them things to people, them try to make people know what them have, all of that. You can be an artist and you're controversial and all of that, but still you're humble. Because you know make people feel less of themselves. You know, try to make people feel like them below you, all of them because something there. So you have different type of humility. Then you have to know how to use it. Cause what heap of artists we see where they hype and people talk about them and they don't know where they be found right now because of the same humility problem. I just how you display it and how you put it on to people. First things first, I'm not out for them and them, I'm not trying to get them or all of that. We just uh, talk what they happen in their real life. That's all I'm doing, you know. Me not tell nobody if you go do nothing, none of that. Me just a talk where really they happen. And me just a try to wise up the girl them. To make them know, say, all right, this will happen. So guess what? Do this and do that. And then that will happen. You understand? Know you understand? Know so when, yeah? when, when, yeah. when, when you encourage a girl to call her man, waste man, I say, waste man, figure it. Hmm? <laughs> like, you know, feel some responsibility for the... the so what we can say, me encourage it. So you this try. <laughs> <laughs> but if you if you're if you're a man and you're not doing anything, if you're not contributing in the relationship, he's a waste man. Oh Lord. Cause what me hear you saying is like if you mean him a waste man. Yeah, if you mean him a waste so man. So why can't just be frugal? Meaning say why can't be equal? Why can't say yo watch on me I think bigger in a baby. You wanna go ATI me I think say yo more want an apartment for the two of you. Why can't be like that? Then go get a girl where you and her up on the same page. Now put your basket where you can reach it. So, if you want a girl, if you have a girl where one Brazilian and Burger King and KFC and heels and clothes and all of that, just know say you have to live up to the standards. Go get a girl where one plant yam and ackee and, and tomato and all them something and you and her work it out. You understand? So, no go for now go for something where you can't manage. My mother always tell me to put your basket where you can't reach it. You never hear that before? Yeah, it's all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> I, know people, I know people want the nicest car, but they can't afford it, so they have to leave it and drive a jalopy or drive a, 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 a little... You know? Where you can't afford it, so no, no put your, your basket where you can't reach it, as I said before. Yeah. So I'm off to be a nice <clears throat> chocolate, man. Me learning a papa and all of that, yeah. <laughs> um, taller than me. I, no, not extremely tall, probably like 6'1 or something like that, yeah. Um, kind, honest. I'm going to tell me the truth. All if it, all it, if, all if it has got to cause problem, tell me the truth. Um, as me say, spend money, me speak, me sing more that all the time. So, you know, that I, that I want to eat. I'm spend, I'm kind, I'm loyal, I'm genuine, I'm not cheat. I'm not cheat. I'm not cheat. Yeah, get that out there. Um... Yeah, and just and and, and him, I, if if me can't make him, him just do everything what me tell him to do. Cause I me make him, so if me say jump him, say oh I, yeah, cause I me make you. My relationships are a sixty forty or a seventy thirty, never fifty fifty. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's fair. Man not supposed to, when it comes to the financial aspect, I mean, which man really would I want them, them and them women have the 50-50 right through everything? 
I think that's unfair. Because what a woman can go through, a man can go through it. It's just everyday life experiences. Whether me experience it or something when me see happen, something when me hear about. Just life experiences. Things happen on a daily basis. And if it if I don't experience it, I put myself in a position in my head. Imagine me in another situation and yeah, that's right about it. Um, listen to Wally for gospel. Um, yeah, I listen to gospel. I can look for myself. I listen to gospel. Um, I love hip hop, R and B. Um, love reggae. Reggae is on my playlist too. Um, a little bit of soca. Get fit in an Afrobeat now. So a little bit of everything. Cause any, I, any any specific artist like you can say yo, you know me I listen to. Masego, right now, me I listen to. Right now, me I listen to Wizkid. I listened um his album that he put out recently. I love that album. So, yeah, him me I listen to. Listen, Burner Boy too. Me I get me I get into the Afrobeat thing now. Cause as an artist, I have to listen every every genre, almost every genre. We can get anywhere, can get inspiration. Make sure I get it. Just tell me. Just tell me straight up. I, mean, I, I, I love people that can be straight up with me. If I record a song or I say something where a foolishness, because I'm not going to say the baddest thing. I'm not going to say, say the best. And if you feel like say, something, something we can be better, tell me. I don't want a yes man around me because that's not good. That's not healthy. It's not healthy for your music. I need people who can tell us, say, yo, do this, do that. I don't think that I want a good move. I like people around me like that. I love people around me like that. I mean, I can't speak for any other female artist, but I think um, that the men, I mean, man and woman different. Two, two totally different type of people. Understand? So, a man... In the music industry, have an image to maintain. Ninety percent of them have this tough guy, bad man thing for maintain, so they have to live up to that expectation. I mean, a woman now go walk around and screw and say them go kill fifty people tomorrow or murder somebody in a broad daylight tomorrow. So then the need for go all out when it come on to that image thing. There, all them have to do is just really sing good music. And I mean, everybody have them image to maintain, but then the need for go all out like oh, a man. But they sing dance all music need to go all out. Because as I said, they have an image to maintain. So that's what I think. But probably there are, there are um, female artists out there that's doing it. Of a whole entourage. I don't know. But that's just what I think. Can I give you two? Sure. Um, On My Mind is my favorite song. And Backseat is No. My favorite song. I can't choose between the two of them. Just why? 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 Um, because on my mind and backseat, those two songs are <laughs> are things that I've done. Our experiences I've been in. So it's my experience I I wrote about. So that's why. In no man say the rest of them are not my experience, but it's just more relatable than any other one. Yeah. So that's why them just have a soft spot in my heart. So um the the car the car thing now is nothing I don't know where spontaneous and not well long it's just a quickie thing. It's just an in the moment thing, a right now thing, a 
couple of seconds thing was spicy the and uh, yeah i park on that little tree and i want like a parking lot you feel a little way you just hurry up and do something quick and fast so and i don't know where we have to think about too hard so, so people like me who don't know how to do it if it's not struck to it the way we the chair we push it up it depends on the car you're in sweetie so it depends on the type of vehicle the different type of vehicle request different type of positions you know so yeah but i'm gonna go down in my business if i don't know you want i'm sorry <laughs> no <laughs> we're not going down in it um yeah so as we said before it's just a it's just a thing where you're in our mood you just do something quick and fast yeah you need to try it pillow princess yes. you need to try it 